people who hope you are doing great this is V and welcome back to my channel so i'm starting a new arc of naruto shippuden but before i start that i want to talk about the 21 episodes i binge watched in last two days and i'm calling it as a filler arc <laughs> most of these episodes were fillers but in the beginning there were a couple of episodes which actually had information which is relevant to the current storyline uh however i'm going to start with episode 175 first so by the end of episode 175 i was like highly emotional i was very happy for naruto he finally earned the love and respect of this village that he always wanted and they were cheering him up and i was so happy for him i did listen to all the dialogues that were happening in the episode but i i think i kind of um missed um you know commenting on this particular shot so i just want to acknowledge it right now and i want to show you what shot i'm talking about this one you know i could almost fall for him huh? well really i could almost fall for him okay i want to say that sounded weird but i don't want to make any comments i just wanted to acknowledge it did my part moving on well the first three episodes of this filler arc which was more about erika sensei and naruto's relationship with kakashi sprinkled on top they were beautiful episodes highly emotional and that is when you learn the importance of erika sensei in naruto's life so he was the first person who actually believed in him he set him on the right direction he gave him a purpose to become hokage and he told him about well of fire so it was very beautiful to see their relationship in the first three episodes but then i also found out about sasuke and his team taka what they were up to and now they're actually heading towards leaf village where they will find i think nothing <laughs> Well, that will be an interesting scene to see if they once they come to the village and there is nothing over there. Anyways, so that happened, and then there are only three Akatsuki's uh, members left, which is uh, Setsu, Madara, and Kazumi. And Kazumi is actually, I think, uh, going after Killer B, aka Tails, to capture him. So um, we'll see how that goes. Like once that episode comes, it will be an interesting watch too. Further, hmm, more importantly. Sonare she is in coma and because um she actually used up all her chakra to save the village now she is incapable to lead the village and because of that all these um uh, people from land of fire all these important people all these lords and uh, other council members they actually had an emergency council meeting and where uh, these two seniors uh, that we keep seeing in the village they were there danza was there and also more importantly shikaku was there shikaku is actually the leader of the jodin squad i wasn't aware of that um well anyways so shikaku wanted uh, kakashi to be the sixth hokage he proposed his name and everyone kind of agreed on it but um Danzo manipulated them. Danzo kind of forced himself to be the sixth Hokage. Well, Kakashi would have been an ideal choice given the scenario that the Leaf Village is in, but unfortunately, Kakashi, who is well deserved for this position, but he did not get to be the sixth Hokage. Danzo is actually the sixth Hokage of the village, which I absolutely do not like. But then. we have to live with it it is what it is well it is actually an interesting uh, turn of events so it will be interesting to see uh, what more uh, you know schemes and strategies he devise and what happens next um what more uh, substantial happens so yeah there were some friendly faces uh, in the village like inari and uh, that uh, bridge builder tazuna it was really good to see them after so long they were actually helping to build the village up inari is grown up <laughs> and there was this um, really funny episode about this epidemic which is spread in the leaf village and kind of naruto is source of it <laughs> it was really funny because i was watching it under the second lockdown that we all are in now and also there was this uh, love interest of kakashi oh my god there was this one episode with this very very beautiful kunoichi spy um in the leaf village and kakashi was handling her and uh, they shared an accidental kiss but it was funny it was really cute and in the end he actually uh, helped her to fled so hmm i don't know but it was really nice to see him with a female <laughs> like really after really long he's always with guy sensei so i don't want to a uh, want him to end up with guy sensei <laughs> but yeah it was funny um 
But I think this new arc will be uh, full of new interesting storylines, whether it's Sasuke, Maroji, and Killer B. So I'm super excited and based up. All right, so let's start. But a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do so. If you want to watch my unedited, uncensored reaction videos available on Patreon a week before YouTube. And please hit that big bell icon so that you never miss out any of my videos. All right, then let's hop in. What is this place? Oh, those are size rats. I'm certain. It's Orochimaru's, an old hideout. That's just like Kabuto, to take advantage of an old asset. Oh, I remember even Yamato was with them and they were going after Kabuto when the Nine Tails started coming out and Yamato went back. So they're still on that lead, okay. Wait, they're with us. I've come with an order from the village. Sai will return home. We are here to assist you with that. You can give me information too. Oh, she Yamato doesn't know. Back in the middle of a mission. So what's happened? The Akatsuki mounted an attack on the Hidden Leaf Village, and now Lord Danzo has taken over as Hokage. How such a thing happen so quick? Sai is like super shocked with that news because he he has known Danzo. Uh, the longest among all these people and he knows what his real intentions are and He might actually know uh, What dance is capable of when he becomes Hokage and that's why it's kind of this news just perturbed him at this point of time Let's see, but it's also would be interesting because it's kind of um, How do I explain that it's like it's a conflict for him because uh, he has uh, been under his wing, um, Danzo's wing, for so long, and still the last mission when they go to go, you know, go after Sasuke. Till that moment, he was kind of loyal to Danzo, but then uh, during that mission, and because of Naruto talk, he uh, he kind of you know now pro Team Seven, and he he has uh, a loyalty towards um, Naruto Sakura. So it'll be interesting to see um, how he will react to Danzo's plan. So it'll be interesting to see that. I can give you all the details later on, Captain. Well, Sai. Right. Lord Danzo is now Hokage. See, even he is like... The essence of a ninja is to operate in secret. But there are times when a man who moves in the shadows must step out into the light. Yes, like you. I hope oh. that I can count on your continued loyalty. I wonder what, uh, yes, how has he brainwashed all these people that they're so loyal to him and, you know, part of the evil plan? Why is this music? Reminds me of something uh, that I've heard previously. What what oh, now? these people. And what if all those beautiful women totally come after me? Oh to figure out my what I do. god. Oh yeah. When it's time to leave the hidden leaf, what if they tell me they love me and can't bear to be separated from me? What am I gonna do when that happens? I'm oh my god. It's just a suicide pact. Guy, you truly, truly think super highly of yourself. First, he needs to find all these women ruling over him and then they might actually sign a suicide pact if he is leaving the leaf village. Oh my god. What kind of, um, you know, dreamy world or fantasy world he lives in? Oh, do you want to be drowning in girls or not? Which <laughs> we haven't even reached the hidden leaf village yet. Cray fight! <laughs> Maybe some handsome guy with a super good looking face will hit on you. Just say <laughs> Some rich, famous ninja smitten with me. That wouldn't be very far fetched at all. They don't have good looking no, people in their own village. There's no way. <laughs> Out of you, you idiot! Oh my gosh, he threw a stone. Did he just break what some bones? And those pieces destroy an even bigger boulder and causes a big rock slide. And those God. rocks fall onto the hidden leaf village and wreck it. How they are even a team? Too much, you idiot! I didn't do it on purpose. It was just a little rock. <laughs> she literally thinks that it, she destroyed the village. No way. I'm Samui of the Hidden Cloud. I'm a messenger from our leader, the Raikage. What happened? It was the Akatsuki. Precautions are being taken, and security will be tightened shortly. <laughs> In any case, showing her that stone. Oh man! Seriously. 
Okay. A letter from the Raikage addressed to her. Is something wrong? Yeah, she's in coma. That hurts. Oh, messenger birds. What horrible timing. This is calling for a five Kage summit conference. But what's going to be discussed in the five Kage summit? No Kage's comatose? So I can simply accept the Oh, this piggy is hand. there. Haven't seen that piggy for really it's long. It's uncertain when she'll regain consciousness. The acting Hokage will do. <laughs> that woman there is no longer the Hokage. Now hand that letter over to me and I'll answer it. I don't like no, this. It can't be. Does Lord Raikage want a reply? Or doesn't he? Hmm. That's a long letter. Sasuke, hmm? So, it has come to this. So they called up a five Kage summit and he specially wrote a separate hey. letter to the huh? regarding Sasuke to Hokage. Lady Tsunade's been relieved of her title. Oh, he knows. What? The sixth Hokage is somebody named Danzo. I don't know much, but I think he's somebody. They all the know about guy. Danzo. The sixth Hokage declared Sasuke a rogue ninja and approved his elimination. Oh, that was a letter about. Okay. It's not unreasonable. But Kakashi. Sasuke is a rogue shinobi. Standard operating procedure is to erase him. I'm going to talk to Danzo. Sakura, wait. That's Part not gonna help. His office won't solve anything. You can't expect me to just keep quiet. And I'm going with you too. Calm down. But he's not gonna listen to them. Like this, staying calm is crucial. I won't let them go after Sasuke. I said wait. <laughs> so you go see him. Then what? We won't do anything violent. Why will he you listen really to you guys? Believe that he'll agree with whatever you have to say. Exactly. No way. If you play this wrong, you'll be thrown in prison. Fine, I don't care. Mm. I'm going. Look, Donzo would like nothing better than to confine you to this village. Do you really want to be locked up in jail? And then you won't be able to go look for Sasuke. Don't make a scene right now. Well, well, I wonder why didn't Naruto mention anything about his conversation with Nagato regarding uh, Danzo? Because um, Nagato told him that he actually was at that point of time also um scheming and plotting to become hokage and that is why he joined um hans with hans at that time so it just makes sense that he's doing all the shady things again and at least all the other villagers should know about it like shinobis at least and secondly why is no one asking uh danzo where was he when the attack was happening where were all those uh foundation black and blue ops where were they like they should they should have been like fighting uh, all these six versions of pain they should have been uh, in the front line but they were hiding underneath so why no one questioning them so that's like really really frustrating for me to think about it i don't know why no one says uh, no one has mentioned that so far you wanted to see me observe naruto if you see anything out of the ordinary report it to me immediately naruto what do you plan to do with him? Don't worry. Naruto is the village's hero right now. All of the villagers trust and love him. Even more than they do me, the sixth Hokage. <laughs> no one loves you. If Except for I your stooges. If I were to do something to him now, it would affect my new position. I will not be lenient as Tsunade was. I not understand, so. sir. Very well. Dismissed. So I have a question. He he and even Kakashi mentioned about uh, Jonin's uh, word of confidence. So he have feudal lords um, acceptance or uh, feudal lord appointed him as a Hokage, but he still have to win the word of confidence from all the Jonins. So what happens if he does not? Like if Jonins does not give him the word of confidence, will he be removed from the uh, position of Hokage, or like what is the next stage? And secondly, as I mentioned previously, uh, about size loyalty. So right now, um, Danzo actually instructed him to keep an eye on Naruto. So is he gonna still continue spying for Danzo, or he's gonna be like his loyalty will be with Team Seven? Sai, hey, we were just looking for you. Yeah, we really gotta talk to you. Please tell us what you know about Danzo. No. I can't. What? Why not? Hmm. To speak about Lord Donzo is a physical impossibility for me. 
physical impossibility. Of this. What is that? What is Tattoo that on your tongue? Is that a curse mark? If I try to talk about him, my body becomes completely paralyzed, unable Ooh. to speak or move. And the Foundation. Lord Donzo and the Foundation work in espionage. Behind the scenes, they have done lots of dirty work to protect the leaf. That's the Which level of corruption in the village. To prevent any intel leaks. Kind of makes so sense. Extreme. I mean, putting a curse mark on your own subordinate. That's awful. His methods may be heavy-handed, but he cares deeply about the village, like you. Donzo's planning to dispatch tracking ninja to go after him. Uh, well, I think Sasuke what, really? brought this upon he himself. Didn't mention that Sasuke. Tell us all about this Sasuke. Oh! Wow, that was fast, Naruto. Oh! Wow. That. Sakura, why are they here? What the hell do you guys want? Why? What does all of this have to do with you, Cloud Ninja, anyway? A whole lot. Cause Sasuke Uchiha of the Leaf assaulted the Hidden Cloud Village. That's a lie, Sasuke. Why would he ever do something like that? How the hell should we know the Akatsuki's motives? The Akatsuki? What are you talking about? It's because you let your rogue ninja run loose that Lord Rakage dispatched us here. We've already gotten the Hokage's permission to get rid of them. Sasuke... kidnapped their master? It's actually kind of a very complicated situation for Naruto right now because Naruto totally understands what is the meaning of losing a master is. Like he already lost Jiraiya and there was a moment that he lost Kakashi too. But then just imagine uh, him being in that situation because he understands their pain. He understands uh, their feelings right now. But on the same time, he has his own loyalties towards Sasuke and his love and care towards Sasuke. So it must be like tearing him apart right now in this situation knowing what Sasuke has done all his crimes that he has kidnapped their master probably killed their master and then um, he's a part of Akatsuki now the same organization that he's been fighting so far and then Sasuke is also a friend we will avenge our master we're going to take down Sasuke Sasuke how could you do something like that what was that in the sky? Hey, Sasuke. He moves in space. Talk about bad time. How the hell did you know where I was anyway? I have powers beyond your comprehension. So what do you want from me? I warned you that you would die if you betrayed the Akatsuki. What are you talking about? Because they don't the think that you betrayed him. That was a substitution. In short, you blundered. It seems the Eight Tails pulled a fast one on you. <laughs> he did. I was watching him with the shutting gun the whole time. He had no opportunity to make a clone. It must have been when I sliced off that tentacle. Oh. Honestly, all of you have disappointed me. You can forget about the Eight Tails. I Is have decided sending? to have you carry out a different mission. Oh my god, don't tell me he's sending Sasuke after Naruto now. And? What if we decline? Then we'll find it out right here. And you won't be able to go to the Hidden Leaf Village. But he just went through it, right? I was I was just thinking that. Exactly what Naruto did. To the Hidden Leaf anyway. Is this one of his powers? The village hidden in the leaves is no more. Yeah. I can Zetsu. explain everything that happened in the leaf. So, who's the new Hokage? It's that fellow, Donzo. No. Donzo. He anticipated He's Hokage that. now? Just what the hell happened in the Hidden Leaf Village? My subordinate, Pain, destroyed it. And it's thanks to both you and Pain showing off, it seems that the five Kage are going to take action. Allow me. I'll explain it all. You know, with uh, um, Zetsu, I feel like... When he said, allow me, let me explain it. Even when uh, Itachi was fighting Sasuke and he was looking at it and then other battles as well. I feel like he's recording everything. I don't know if he has a video camera, but he records everything and then he opens up a projector and he like, see what happened. 
Now tell us everything you know about Sasuke. And I don't mean just his ninjutsu style and his abilities. You lie. There's no way. Sasuke would never join the Akatsuki. Oh God. Listen, are you sure? Yeah. That's... Guys, you should believe it. It can't be true. Sasuke is no longer the same person that you guys knew. Just listen. When the order to take down Sasuke was approved, the intel that the Leaf has on him should have been handed over to you and your people. You're right, and our captain is busy waiting for the data right now. But we just figured that we'd try to get additional information from anyone who might know something. Not when our master's gone. We don't even know what happened to him. What's with, what's with his lollipop thing? He always likes sucking a lollipop. Why? Sage. Is your master a Jinchuriki? How did you know that? Oh yeah. I'm a Jinchuriki too. The Akatsuki always capture a Jinchuriki alive. Hmm. And that means your master may still be alive right now. What? He is actually. But we don't know where is he. You need to go rescue your master first. Tell you what, I'll come along and do what I can to help you rescue him. Oh. Give you all that I've got on the Akatsuki. Come along with us and tell us all about Sasuke. Is Naruto. really gonna go? What's your name? Naruto Uzumaki. So I think Naruto understands what these cloud ninjas are going through, uh, the pain of losing a master, and that is why he is trying to help them to rescue Killer B. But I don't understand where Killer B is. He should just come back right now to his village and let everyone know that he's alive. But then I don't know where he is. Other than that, I want to, uh, I don't understand Madra Uchiha. I do not understand his intentions. He is one of the shadiest characters that I feel in Naruto Shippuden. So, like, since the big thing, he has been first fooling us all in the disguise of Toby and then everything with Itachi, Sasuke. And now he just wants to send Sasuke to another mission. I don't understand that guy so far. That also, I have the similar kind of opinion about Danzo too. I I do not like his uh, acts so far, whatever he's done in the past. But what I was trying to explain in this episode was that he's actually a nice guy. And whatever he has done in, in the past is just to protect the village. But I agree with Sakura. All his methods were extreme. So whatever he did, maybe he did it with the intention of protecting the village. But they were extreme. Like, he doesn't care about other people's feelings, emotions. He just have one motto in the head. And he's just, um, he doesn't care about even sacrificing people up. So, I, I seriously still have, like, my um, apprehensions when it comes to Danzo. I do not trust that guy. I still do not feel that he is a nice guy. Maybe his actions were in the favor of Leaf Village, but who knows what else his uh, true motives or intentions are. He always wanted to be a Hokage. That's even what uh, Naruto confirmed. So I have mixed feeling about that guy. Okay, people, I think the next episode would have more answers for me, but I will wrap it out here. Drop some likes and comments on this video. Do subscribe to my channel and hit that big bell icon so that you never miss out any of my videos. And all my reaction videos are available on Patreon, unedited, uncensored a week before YouTube. And you can send me a high five on Facebook and Instagram as well. All right, then I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.